Tea. Uh, have you ever been on TV before? Never. Trust me, you don't need any experience. <laughs> I've been to This is Tonus Talisep. Welcome, my friend. How are you? Pleasure to be here. Let me tell them a little bit about you. You are a stay-at-home dad. Correct. And you're very observant. You know how difficult it is for any parent, as stay-at-home parents, to just get the chores done, to be able to do things so that it's clean, simple, concise, and doesn't waste time. And you notice that most of us, our sinks are a place of danger, and we waste a lot of energy. Right. So you came up with this. Right. What is your product called? InSync 4-in-1. Beautiful. What do you, how does it work and, and show it to us? Well, I had to really step back and see what I was doing. So when I looked at my sink, I was wondering, why am I dishes having a bath in the sink? Okay. Why am I searching for sharp objects under soapy water? Uh -huh. Why am I always taking my cutting board to the compost or the garbage? Or always digging out food scraps. Right. So I said, how can I simplify food prep, cleanup, and um, washing at the same time, but also making my life a little easier by saving time, water, energy, and money? And that's how the idea came to be. So real quick, let me, let me come over here and I'll show you what you're going to get. And this is the first time it's been made available anywhere here in the United States. It's a very simple kit that works with every type of kitchen sink. Right, provided to smooth sides. Okay. Right. Uh, the suction cups will hold it to the side. And all of this together at $18.98, what it's going to do is, is truly simplify someone's life. Mm -hmm. So we've got one here in our kitchen sink. And I'm just going to kind of step back and let you run and play. Okay. Show us how it works. So I guess how my morning would start. So okay. I would take... The cup. The cup holds about four cups of soapy water. I take my suction bar, I fix it to the underside of the lip, put a little bit of soap in there. And you don't need a lot of soapy water to get all of your dishes done. No. So I'll put that in there. And just because I'm left-handed, I like it there, but okay. having the suction bar allows me to put it anywhere in the sink where I want it. So okay. the left-hand side or right-hand side. And then I'll take the caddy. Now, the caddy is exactly the same as the cup, except for it has holes in the bottom. So I can use it as a cauldron as well. All right. Right? So I'll just put that on the suction bar as well. And then Good. this is a, a catcher, a simple but useful funnel that goes on either the cup or the caddy. Uh -huh. I'll put it on there. So let's say the kids want strawberries for breakfast. All right. So I'll throw a couple of strawberries in here, give them a quick rinse, throw them on the cutting board. Oop. And just for ease of use, I'll just cut the tops off. So this and just throw it right into that right. portion of the... So it frees up space in the, on the cutting board. Now yep. I can cut them, throw them in the cereal over here. Right. And it just frees up that space. So let's say now for lunch, I know that, uh, okay, from safety standpoint, I got my knife. Now I can wash this rather than leaving it in the sink or leaving it on the countertop. Uh -huh. Give it a quick rinse, put it away. Dishes are done. Or reuse it. Right. That's good. That's actually and really brilliant. So let's say if I did kitchen, uh, chicken, okay. I can address cross-contamination issues that way, right? All right. Get it done right away. So let's say now in the afternoon, I know the, the kids are going to school pretty soon. They'd like carrots, so I'll give them some carrots yep. so I can cut off the tops. Whoop. Again, just streamline the flow. You notice how it goes in here, and some people don't have garbage disposal. I don't have one. No. Because we have an old farmhouse. So now we have a place to catch everything. You've got your warm sudsy water over here in a container. And instead of that bath of soap, your sink is still clean. Right. So I can cut these up and put them in the kids' lunch. How, how old here. are the kids now? 11 and 13. That's perfect age. So I'll just, perfect. Put, I'll just throw these in there for now. But okay. the nice part of when this is full, I simply lift off, Yep. dump, dump it give out. it a quick, quick rinse, reattach it, and away I go. And then these are also cleanable if I have to put them in the top rack of the dishwasher. Right. So they're uh, dishwasher safe. Okay. So they always need to have a quick cleaning. And I always recommend to take them out of the sink after you're finished yep. doing your thing. So the nice part about this is I'm not searching for sharp objects anymore. So I can wash as I go. So for example, this knife, like I said, I can wash, rinse, get it out of the way, uh -huh. put it away so the kids aren't messing with it or it's on the counter. So right. I can do that with the cutting board as well. The nice part about this is after I finished washing, I can give the sink a quick rinse. Uh -huh. in there. But let's say my stovetop needs to be cleaned. I okay. can now lift this up, get it over, clean the areas of the stovetop or countertop that I need, and I've always had soapy waters available. Bring it back. Now I'm trying to get the kids involved with washing dishes. Uh -huh. So now most households have dishwashers, about 60% of them. So I get my kids to pre-wash before putting the dishwasher. Okay. For two reasons. One, keeps the food scraps out, yep. keeps the dishwasher from smelling, but I can also run the short cycle, saving me time, water, and energy. Now it depends on what dishwasher you have. Right. right. But then I always leave, I always have it available. Uh, I think it's a brilliant invention. Let me come back over here okay. again. Here is what you're going to get. And by the way, your instructions on this are wonderful. It explains everything very easily. You're going to put these on either side of your sink. This is what you're going to use as your colander, your strainer, and also for your food scraps. This one, which has no holes in the bottom, you use as your 
your soap cup. You've got the top and then you've also got your scrubbing brush. It is called the four in one kitchen catcher caddy. He likes that letter K. Uh, thank you, my friend. Congratulations. Sure, sure. Uh, I know you've got other inventions in the works as well. Yes. And I love your full-time job. You gotta be dedicated. Stay at home dad with his first invention here at QVC, part of our Sprouts program. We don't have a lot of them. Take advantage of that great price. Help yourself in the kitchen. Gabrielle, what do you have? Well, Dan, I just wanna give everyone a heads up. In about eight minutes, I'm gonna show you how you can get out of the nail salon a little